Hello and welcome to my tutorial series on how to model low poly vegetables in Blender. This is part 7 and today we are going to model corn. This is the finished object and as always I designed this so you can follow very easily. First of all let's set up our reference background image by pressing shift A, go to image, then background and add the image. I will provide a download link for the image in the description below. To start off, we will add a cylinder and then scale it down in the x and y axis by pressing Shift Z. Now get into edit mode by pressing the tab key on your keyboard. Let's select the face and scale it down and place it. Now to even out our mesh, we can insert some loop cuts by pressing Command and R and by scrolling the middle mouse scroll wheel, on. you can set the amount of cuts. Now enable the proportional editing tool by pressing this button, pressing the O key on your keyboard and start scaling some of the loop cuts up. Alright, now select the bottom face and press E to extrude in the Z axis by pressing Z and scale it down to create this rounded shape here. Let's repeat these steps to model the tip of the corn. E to extrude and S to scale. Make sure to check your model in different views. For example, this top face here is a bit off-centered, so we can grab it by pressing the G button and then place it with a mouse. Now right click on your model and choose Shade Smooth. And I'm not very satisfied with the tip here, so let's change it a bit. Alright, by pressing Alt and the left key, you can select whole edge loops. And you can work on this geometry a bit more until you're satisfied with it. Okay, this looks good. So now let's give our corn stem. So select the bottom face, press E to extrude in the Z axis by pressing Z, and E to extrude again. And to round it up a little more, you can insert an edge loop by pressing Command and R. And by scaling it up, this portion of the object looks fine now. So for now, this is it for the modeling. The rest of the details will be generated by shading. So in Texture Paint tab, you can create a new image. You 
let's do this here. Give it a name. Like corn detail. And now we can head to the shading tab and create a new material by pressing the plus new button. And to see what we are working with, we can add an image texture node by pressing shift A and go to texture and image texture. And here on the left button, we can choose the corn detail as our image. Now we have to UV unwrap our model, so select some of the edges. And then right click and mark seam. Now press the U key and click on unwrap. And we have unwrapped our model. So mainly we want to use this texture as our bump information. So add a bump node by pressing Shift A and go to vector then bump and plug it into the normal slot of your shader. Take your image texture and plug it into the height of your bump map. And as you can see, we're good to go. With the help of a color ramp, we can now define the way these details will be displayed. And keep in mind, the higher your value, the higher the bump on your model. So everything that is black will be further down. Everything that is white will be up. OK, now let's uh, head to texture paint mode again and paint the information on the model. I will provide the image that will be created here right now, but I recommend you to draw your own texture. This process will take some minutes, but drawing on the model and seeing all these bumps appear right in front of your eyes was somewhat uh, satisfying. Okay, now here it is. Let's get back to shading. And now we can use this image texture for color information too. So let's get another color ramp and plug it into the base color of our material. And now we can take this image texture and plug it into the factor of the color ramp. And as you can see, all the corn pieces are white now and everything else is black. And if we choose like a light orange here and a darker here, this looks actually quite realistic. And we do not have any geometry. And for a final touch, let's add some leaves to the corn. Add a plane by pressing Shift A, go to Mesh and Plane. Rotate it by pressing R. And then scale it into place. Add some loop cuts to it by pressing Command and R. And now we can wrap this plane around 
the corn object. So when you're happy with it, just grab it in the z-axis, you press in G, then Z. And then you can extrude it in the z-axis by pressing E, then Z. Adjust some of the vertices. And there you have your leaves. By adding a solidify modifier, you can see the two-dimensional plane is now a three-dimensional object and it has some thickness to it. Now we can take these bottom vertices here and by scaling them down we can hide the loose end within the corn stem. When you're happy with your leaf, you can select it in object mode and then press Shift D to duplicate it and then rotate it around the 3D cursor by choosing 3D cursor as your transformation pivot point. Add a new material to it. And let's give it the gradient setup from the past videos by adding a texture coordinate node, a mapping node, and a separate x, y, and z node, combining it with a color ramp and then plugging it into the base color. Now you can tweak the color ramp. until you're happy with the colors displayed on this object. Now let's add an image texture node for some detail. And here we can use the stripes PNG that we used earlier in some of the other videos. Add a bump node and plug it into the normal and then connect the image texture to the height input of the bump node. And as you can see, the stripes are now displayed on the leaves. And with this step, we have finished modeling our corn. When you come up with your own design of a corn model, I'd like to see it. And I will display some of your works in future videos. So send them to me via Twitter or Instagram.
If you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification button to keep yourself updated on new videos and tutorials. Thanks for watching and have fun creating!